Hello, my name is Lego, and uh, this is From the Depths. This will be the second video I made, but not the second one I'm going to keep. So I've spent the past uh, probably a few days making this Chinook and just cramming it full of anti-aircraft defense. And I just, I figured I'd show it off. I mean, I already posted it to the From the Depths Discord, and they seem to like it, so I figured I'd show it off on YouTube. Uh, the previous from that episode video I made wasn't really as high quality as I wanted it to be, so I'm not going to keep that. It was kind of a noob craft that I really shouldn't have shown off. It wasn't worth it. But uh, this one I'm much more happy with, so I figured I'd show this one off. Uh, starting with the armament, it has just spammed anti-missile defense. I'll show that off in a few minutes. And uh, it's... It's got three big missiles, and it's made for early campaign gameplay. It's sort of an anti-aircraft starter craft. And, uh, yeah, I guess I should just show it fighting. I'll just let up a red tuna here. Or two or three. Yep, there goes the anti-missiles. Uh, I'm not sure if the tunas will target me at this distance. I'm just going to knock down the graphics. Just make it a wee bit simpler. Let me keep this one. Uh, it runs off of automated control blocks, so if it deploys weapons, it fires the gear. It just does everything automatically, so its AI is fully flushed out. Ooh! Direct hit, I'm kind of surprised. That's unusual, it usually can defend itself. Did it knock out? Yeah, it's not going to be able to detect it anymore, it's just going to get whacked again. Hopefully, it can recover here. Well, that's a shame, I wonder. I did some extensive testing and it had. Failed to red tunas in a while. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna load up another one. And hopefully this one works. Uh, first of all, I should be coming here in a second. I'm gonna turn on the GUI just see what's happening. There we go, the anti missiles. I wonder why it wasn't working before. Ooh, that doesn't... Nope, oh, yep, got it. So it is it is effective when it wants to be, and it does blow up a lot of stuff, so I think... It also stays out of the firing range of the tuna, so it destroys them pretty easily. I'm going to load up something slightly bigger that I haven't tested. Let's just go easy, since this thing is small. Uh, I think an atlas, why not? Yeah, that list has a bunch of crams on it. A bit. Where are you going? No, go. What? Go fight it. Okay. Well. This missile should hit, as it's not meant to engage if it's with out of range. Yep. Devastating hit on the. What is this called? Nope. Atlas is down to 87, so it's going to be sinking here, quick. Still trying to take out what's left of the poor raft. Yep. And that's going to knock it down below 80 and it's going to sink. Turns out it's quite effective against, uh... Atlases it down to 80%, so it should be sinking here in a second, and then it'll just despawn. And here is another round of missiles. Ooh, 
direct hit on the back of the Atlas. That's to take out the AI. No, I didn't. Ooh, I think that hit the AI, that nailed the AI, or at least part of it. Yeah, it looks dead in the water. Now is it still running? All right then, it's still running. Let's see what it can pull off with. I don't want. It was dead. Just didn't see the death message. Ooh, let's have it fight something weird. Uh, how about coffin nail? Not sure what this one is. Oh, is this? Oh, that's not good. It's not gonna like those. Or that. Yeah, this might be a bit too much. Yeah, it was a bit too much. <laughs> just got nailed in the face. Yeah, that's... Let's just destroy that. It's not gonna like that. It doesn't do well against uh, anything with... Advanced cannons. It usually just blows up from the inside out. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show. I might just release another video here soon. On Minecraft, I don't know. I'll think about it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.